हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर सिक्स स्टडी ऑफ रेसिप्रोसिटी थियरम द एम ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू वेरीफाई द रेसिप्रोसिटी थियरम फॉर अ गिवन सर्किट दिस पर्टिकुलर सर्किट इज अवेलेबल ऑन द रेसिप्रोसिटी किट विच वी हैव इन द लेबोरेटरी सो विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दैट द सर्किट हैज मेड नाउ प्लीज रिमेंबर हियर for the performance basis we need to connect two different circuits so as per the definition of the reciprocity theorem you can see in any linear bilateral network if a source of emf e in any branch produces a current i in any other branch then the same emf e acting in the second branch would produce the same current i in the first branch so what it means it means that as you can see here there is a supply voltage e1 and an ammeter is placed on the other side of the circuit in other circuit you have to replace the positions of this supply source and an ammeter so keep make this ammeter here and supply source you have to connect it here so by transforming or by changing the positions of the supply source with ammeter and ammeter with the supply source we have to verify this reciprocity theorem now let us verify this reciprocity theorem theoretically so for that purpose i am just considering this simple network the same circuit which i have now uh, which we have in the kit okay so now the to solve this circuit what i just do i consider i just apply kirchhoff's voltage law that is called as mesh analysis so here we don't have r6 so i just remove it now based on the supply source which we have in the circuit positive upward and negative downward the current starts from positive terminal of the supply and ends at negative terminal of the supply source so let us say it is i1 then on the other side of it as there is another loop present so therefore let the current be i through that particular loop now as we have two loops present in the circuit this is loop 1 and the the other one is loop 2 the other one is loop 2 so for this loop 1 and loop 2 we have to form a equation or we have to form a matrix so the matrix formation is very simple and then you can solve that by using cramer's rule or if you have formed the equations then you can use calculator to get the answers so i just form a equation shortcut equations for that purpose so let us form equations by inspection so what i get is i get let this voltage be 7 volt okay so with respect to that i get 7 is equal to this i1 current passes through all the three resistances so i get 182 plus 47 so 82 plus uh, 789 so it is 99 Zero seven twenty seven, right? We have one forty seven. So how much we get? Uh, so we get one twenty seven, right? Yes. So the total is two twenty seven. So two twenty seven into I one. Then this current I passes through only eighty two ohms. with the opposition to that i1 so it is 82 i this is our equation 1 on the other side of it we don't have anything connected so it is equal to 0 it means the source is not present therefore it is equal to 0 then the current i1 only current which passes through this 82 ohm and as it is in opposition so therefore it is 82 minus 82 i1 plus again the resistances are same so we get 227 i that is equation number 2 right 
or I just do the readjustment. Here I get 82 I1 is equal to 227 I and implies I1 is equal to 227 upon 82 into I. Let us say this is equation 3. We can solve this using calculator also. Put 3 in 1 implies I get 7 is equal to 227 into 227. You have to replace this I1 by this factor. So therefore we are getting this and therefore Now it is equal to so you are getting 227 square minus 82 square right so let us solve by using calculator so let us see the calculator 227 square minus 82 square Two twenty seven square. So it is two twenty seven So we are getting the total current as 12.81 milliampere. That is what the value of I which we require. We don't want any other value. Okay. Now another set circuit. <coughs> this is similar circuit. The only thing is we have applied this reciprocity here. It means we replace the position of the voltage source E1 by an ammeter and ammeter position by a voltage source E2. Again the application of voltage is 7 volt. So if you just check here the resistance is 47, 47 ohms here right then this one is 100 ohms this is also 100 ohms this one is 82 ohms 82 ohms and this is 47 ohms. Now with respect to this position I just consider that is voltage source position I just consider this current is in anti-clockwise rotation and therefore this current is also in anti-clockwise rotation. We don't need R6 here. Okay. Now again form the equations. The equations will be 7 is equal to 227 I1 minus 82 I because here these three resistors through which we get I1 and this is the resistor of 82 ohm only through which we get I but as this I is in opposition therefore we are getting negative side how we form this equation it is by inspection by inspection then on the other side there is no voltage source so therefore you get this 82 is only the resistance through which we are getting current right so therefore we get a minus 82 I1 plus 227 I. Okay. Now just solve these two equations by using calculator and what you get. Therefore, we need only the value of I. So I is equal to which I am getting is 12.81 milliampere. 12.81 milliampere. Okay. So this is what the uh, values of currents which we are getting. Now we have to make the connections and how to make the connections the connections are very simple to make that those connections here we have a circuit diagram available. So put the C with resistance R1 then put R1 with resistance uh, with A terminal put A with this R2 resistance okay then put R2 resistance with E terminal 
so over here you have to follow the connection of figure a you have to follow the connection of figure a where you need r4 r1 r2 r5 so you have r4 r1 r2 r5 okay. <laughs> then place this r3 resistance so i just show it with the chords this is chord 1 this is chord 2 chord means wires chord 3 chord 4 then make connection for resistance r3 chord 5 okay then here you need to put a voltage source here you need to put a voltage so uh, sorry an ammeter so for that purpose just connect this with an ammeter so i just consider there is an milliammeter which is present here milliammeter so i just take one connection i'll put it here with the red terminal of milliammeter and the black terminal of that milliammeter i just connected with b terminal of the circuit then connect this d terminal with b terminal so here we have so chord number 5 this is chord number 6 and this is your chord number 7 chord number 8 okay so this way you have to make the figure a similar way you can make figure b similar way you can make figure b what you have to do in figure b you just have to change the positions of the supply source and ammeter okay you will get the same connection same number of chords means same number of wires are required there that is total of eight okay now let us perform the experiment based on this connection based on this connection so we already have the connections made with respect to that only only thing is you have to keep the voltage source that is connected with a voltmeter so as i said you have to apply the 7 volt you can see the amount of current which we are getting 12.9 milliampere okay now this is what the performance reading right so performance reading can be noted here now the performance reading can be noted here now now you have to note down this reading what make connections as shown in figure we already have done that figure connection with respect to step a make power on to the unit power has been on been made on now measure the ammeter current so how much value of the current it was 12.9 milliampere and what was our calculation the our calculation was 12.81 milliampere so there is just a difference of 0.09 just a difference of 0 0.09 milliampere okay so this is what our connection one now we have to make connection two we have to make connection two it means this one and the value of that current must be equal to same 12.81 milliampere or near to 12.81 milliampere right so in this case the procedure is same make connections as shown in circuit of for step b those connections are already made okay now measure an ammeter current i so we have to measure an ammeter current i so let us check that so the connections are made yes for 7 milliampere sorry for 7 volt we are getting 12.9 milliampere for this second reading for this second reading one now what you have to do you have to compare the value of i in step 1 and step 2 it means step 1 may we are getting 12.9 in step 2 we are getting 12.9 it means it is same now comment on the result transfer resistance it should be e by i the value of voltage is 7 volt 
द वैल्यू ऑफ करंट विच वी आर गेटिंग इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन मिली एम्पियर सो फ्रॉम दैट यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट राइट सो आई जस्ट टेल यू टू सेवन अपॉन ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन सेवन अपॉन ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन दैट विल गिव यू द वैल्यू ऑफ ट्रांसफर रेजिस्टेंस सेवन अपॉन ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन so the value of the resistance is 0.542 right so uh, multiplied by 1000 so it is 542.6 542.6 ohms okay so that's all with this